Hey, I'm Doug, and this is Backcountry Pilgrim. Today, I want to talk to you about water filtration. This is the Wayfarer by Lifesaver. The first water filter that I got when I began backpacking was made by a company called Pure. The filter was called the Hiker, and it was a big contraption with hoses and pumps and all kinds of things. Now, when I got back into backpacking some years ago, most hikers had switched to these smaller inline filters. They were cheap, they were small, they were light, and because most of them were not really mechanical, they were quite easy to use. Recently, I started looking back into the pump style filters. A pump filter has several advantages over the smaller inline types. For one thing, most of these pump filters will filter out a lot more impurities, including some that are fairly dangerous, than the inline squeeze type filters. The pump filter is quite a bit easier to use because you are basically just tossing a hose into water and sitting down wherever you are comfortable and pumping until everything that you want filled is full. This can really come in handy when there is more than one person in your hiking or camping party. Now, I couldn't find the Pure Hiker, but I did find the Catadyne Hiker, which looks suspiciously like it. The Catadyne Hiker filter will remove particles such as protozoa and bacteria down to 0.2 microns. Now, this is pretty good. That's going to catch Giardia, Salmonella, Cryptosporidia, and others. Now, the bad news is the Catadyne Hiker only pumps about one liter per minute, which is quite slow for most filters on the market today. The Catadyne filter weighs 11 ounces, it's six and a half inches long, and it runs about $80. Now, at the other end of the spectrum is the MSR Guardian. This is one of the best purifiers out there because it will get particles down to 0.02 microns. That means you're getting 10 times the filtration of something like the Catadyne Hiker and about 20 times that of an inline filter. This is going to remove not only protozoa and particulates, Giardia, Cryptosporidia, but also hepatitis and E. coli, as well as many viruses. The Guardian puts out an impressive 2.5 liters per minute. That is an amazing flow rate for such a strong filter. However, the MSR Guardian weighs over a pound. It is 17.3 ounces. It's over eight inches long and it costs $400 retail. So for many people, the Catadyne Hiker may not seem like it is much better than the inline filters for its weight and cost, whereas the MSR Guardian is far better, but loses when it comes to weight, size, and price. Well, enter the Lifesaver Wayfarer. It doesn't look that different from some of the other filters out there. However, it is different. For one thing, it gets particulates down to 0 0.015 microns. That means it's going to catch even more than the MSR Guardian. The Wayfarer puts out 1.4 liters per minute, which puts it right in between the Guardian and the Catadyne. However, it only weighs 11.2 ounces pretty much the same as the Catadyne Hiker, and it has a slightly smaller form factor. Best of all, the Lifesaver Wearfarer comes in at about $100. At the time of this video, it was retailing for $105. As far as use, I found the Wayfarer to be pretty typical for pump style filters. When you first get it out of the box, you're going to need to prime it. This is a multi-stage practice. You're going to want to set aside about a half hour, to be honest, so don't be trying to get up and do this the morning of your hike. Using the Wayfarer is pretty straightforward, especially if you have used any kind of pump filter before. Essentially, you have a dirty water intake hose called the Scavenger. At one end of the Scavenger hose, you have a small pre-filter, which will keep most sand and grit from getting inside the tube and wear out your filter faster. This attaches to the intake of the pump, and then the clean tube connects to the output and goes inside whatever container you're using for your water. You then adjust the float on the scavenger hose so that the pre-filter is hanging in the water instead of lying in the dirt or sand if you can. Toss it into your water source and then simply start pumping. The pre-filter may end up sucking in some air. Fortunately, the Wayfarer has a little pressure release valve on the bottom. You just push it anytime you're starting to get an excess of air. It pretty much immediately leaks the air out and you are right back in business pumping clean water. There's a little rubber cover that goes over the output hose to keep any dirty water from getting in from the filter. You take this off before you attach the clean hose and it has a little storage space right under 
the pump handle. When you are done, you just sort of shake everything off, take the clean hose and put it inside the pouch on the outside of the stuff sack so that it does not become contaminated with any water that got on the filter or the scavenger hose. Those go inside the bag and you're ready to move on. The Wayfarer does come with a handy little tool that allows you to remove the filter itself. Now you don't need to do anything to the filter while you're not using it. In fact, you can just leave it with the water in it. Don't try to pump it out or anything. If you are going to store the Wayfarer purifier in between trips, there is a best practice cleaning procedure you should do. It's relatively straightforward. You break the filter down into its smaller pieces, rinse everything off, pump a cleaner solution through it, flush it with clean water, and once everything is done, you can simply put it away. It is something that I found very useful when a lot of water was involved, either for me or for more than one person. Further, if I am ever in an area where I am a bit more concerned about the water quality than usual, the Lifesaver Wayfarer is going to be my go-to filter. Given its price, size, weight, and quality, it checks all the boxes in a way that I have not seen any other filter or purifier do. All right, I hope this video on the Life Saver Wayfarer has been helpful to you. If it has, why don't you give the video a like. Subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>